Hey guys, I'm Faris Gaskin, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to create and use middlewares in your Laravel project. The middleware acts as a bridge between a request and a response. So it's a type of filtering mechanism. Now, before we have frameworks, I used to develop my web applications using freestyle PHP codes. So I have different PHP files that works for different purposes. I have a login.php and then it takes the user to logincheck.php where the file compares the data from the user input to the ones that already stored in the database. So if it match the user will be redirected to home.php otherwise they will be sent back to login.php so in Laravel this process is being managed by a middleware so let's create an example I'm going to create a new file called age middleware so I'm already at my project folder lara blocks so to create a middleware we will use the artisan command php artisan make middleware age middleware Okay, so it says here, middleware created successfully. So I'm going to go to my ah, there it is. So H middleware is inside the app HTTP middleware folder. So I have over here H middleware, and this is what you're going to see whenever a new middleware is created so we have the return next request each middleware needs to be registered so to register a middleware we'll go to kernel.php and We will first register our middleware in the middleware section. Okay, route middleware. So I'm going to copy this line and replace it with H. HTTP middleware then we have H middleware and save we can also pass parameters with the middleware for example we're going to redirect a user to a certain page with an ID. So for example, user detail question mark ID equals five. So that would tell the controller to look for a user in the database with the ID number of five. So we'll test it out by creating a new middleware and I'm going to use the php artisan command make middleware 
and we'll create a new row middleware. Okay, so as you can see, row middleware have been created. And let's add a new line of code, echo row Now the thing I like about frameworks is that development is so much easier. I mean, I can create a whole web application in just a day compared to what I have to do back in 2002 with PHP. It would take me anywhere between two weeks to a month. Okay, now that we have Role middleware, we're going to have to register the newly created middleware in kernel.php at the same location where we registered edge middleware just now. So let's change this to role and edge middleware to role middleware. Okay, next up, we're going to create another middleware. I will create a controller and I'll call it test controller. All right, so let's go to the controllers folder and I have over here test controller. Now in the newly created file I'm going to add a few lines of code. So we'll add a function public function index and echo as controller and save. Whenever we create a new middleware, we need to register that file inside kernel.php. And same goes for, for controllers. Whenever we create a new controller, we need to register that file into another file. So in this case, it's going to be web.php. Previously, it was route.php, but Laravel decided to change the name to web.php. So, we've created our test controller just now, and we're going to register the controller route get role. Middleware. So this will point the route to use the role editor middleware and it will use the test controller. Right, so now we have everything done. Let's go to the terminal and see how it goes. 
Okay, so let's go to our localhost. And the in the address bar, we'll type rob. Okay, so it says here undefined variable role. Right, so we need to add roll. Okay, let's try again. Right, and there you have it. Role editor, test controller. Terminable middleware performs some tasks after the response has been sent to the browser and this can be accomplished by creating a middleware with the minute method in the middleware so to test this concept we're going to create a new middleware right, so let's terminate the process just now and we'll create a new middleware PHP artisan make middleware terminate middleware okay let's close this one and wrap middleware okay so I have terminate middleware over here and for the first function we will output an echo executing statements of handle method of where And we will also create a new function called terminate. And it will pass two parameters request and response. For this one, we are going to echo executing statements of terminate method of terminate middleware. Now that we have created a new middleware, we will have to register that new file in kernel.php so terminate and terminate middleware Okay, next we're going to create a new controller so php artisan make controller abc controller okay. let's open abc controller and we'll add a new function public function index 
and we will echo Right, once we have that, we'll have to register our controller in web.php. So we'll just copy this one. Get role replace with terminate. Then middleware terminate users ABC controller at index and let's test it out so in the address bar we'll type terminate And there you have it. Executing statements of handle method of terminate middleware. That's it for now. If you like this video, don't forget to click the subscribe button and see you guys later in the next videos. Thanks for watching.